everyone, it's Christina from Christina's Crafts and I'm going to show you how I made this adorable candy cane using pretty much almost all Dollar Tree supplies. Alright, I am super excited about this one. So I got this candy cane wreath from Dollar Tree and I also bought this ribbon that they had. Um, when I bought the ribbon, wasn't sure what I was going to do with it, but I have it figured out now and I'm super excited about this. I think it's going to turn out really cute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this ribbon, it comes in a roll like this, and I'm actually going to bunch it up like this. So I'm going to start in the back here. I am just going to tie this around my wreath form here. Just like that. And then I'm just going to bunch this up, whoop, bunch this up like this, and then I'm just going to start wrapping this around my wreath form. I want to make sure I get that tail end in there good. I'm going to try to get right on the edge here. And I'm just going to keep crinkling it up and wrapping it around. I think I'm going to put a little bit more on the end here. I don't want that wire showing through. And I'm just going to keep going like this around it. I bought three of these, so I'm hoping this is going to be enough. Maybe I shouldn't make it quite so thick. Let's try this again. I'll just put a little extra right on the front here. And then I can always go back over it if I need more. But I'm just going to wrap it around like this and just kind of push it up. Um, I'm not going to hot glue anything right now just because I don't know if I'm going to have enough of this stuff to go all the way around my candy cane, but I am just going to keep wrapping it around like this. Right, so I already used up one roll of ribbon, so I'm just going to see here about seven inches I use, so six, seven, six. I might be just a little bit short if I use all three of them. I didn't quite think I was going to use that much, so I might have to space this apart a little bit. So I am just going to unwrap it and maybe do it just a little bit looser. If I had four, I would totally keep it like that because I think that looks really good. So I'm just going to maybe not crinkle it up so much, just make it, maybe leave it a little bit looser. So your wire probably will show through a little bit then. But I would suggest getting four and then you definitely have enough to go around the whole thing. So I'm going to get this first one on and then start on the second one. And hopefully I will have enough. Okay, I got the first one on and then I am just going to secure this into the back here with some hot glue and then I am going to start on to the second roll. All right so I am going to tie this right on the end. I can get all my ends through just like that. All right and then <clears throat> I'm gonna just kind of go over that end a little bit so it doesn't stick out and then just keep wrapping. So I'm going to get the second one all wrapped up. All right, I have the second one wrapped on here, and now I'm just going to hot glue this onto here, and then I am going to find my other roll, because I only grabbed two, and then I'm going to start wrapping that one on there. I right, did the last roll out, and I'm just going to do over here what I did on the other side. Oh, I have to go shopping. I was really hoping to have some of this stuff left, because I had some ideas for a project for this. And I am using it all up on my candy cane. So I'm going to get this tied on here and wrap the rest of the candy cane. Okay, I'm just at the end here and I just barely have enough. So now the hard part is going to be to cut this and secure this onto here. So I'm just going to leave this tail long for right now. And I'm going to stick some hot glue, I think, right on this wire here. And pinch it down. And we'll see how that holds. All 
right, it is all finished. Um, stuck a little hot glue in the ends here and I pinched them together just to hold it on. So now is the fun part, trying to dress it up. Okay, now that my candy cane's all done, um, I'm just gonna do a messy bow that's gonna stick out on my candy cane here. So I am just this gonna cut this ribbon. I did get this ribbon from Dollar Tree. Um, in case you haven't noticed, my um, favorite Christmas color is blue. That's why I made my candy cane blue. So I'm just gonna cut the ends and then I'm gonna have a bow like this. And I'm gonna put a couple different layers of bows on here. Um, I have this stuff that I got at Costco and it's actually two-sided, shiny blue and silver. So I'm gonna stick a couple of those in there and flip them the opposite way around. I'm just going to cut two of those. Not exactly sure how many layers I'm going to put on. And I might cut them a little bit shorter too, depending on how it looks once I get all the bows bunched together. But it's going to go something like, like this. So I'm just gonna get a couple layers done and then it's basically just gonna get squished like this and go onto my candy cane. So let me go ahead and um, get my ribbon figured out what I all want on there. Okay, I have them all cut and I did make them all just a little bit different size, starting with the biggest in the back. And I decided I'm just gonna use the three colors. I didn't think that I needed more than that. I think sometimes more simple just looks better. So I'm just gonna squish these in here and then I'm just going to take some jute here and I'm going to tie it around like that and then just kind of arrange it so all the colors are sticking out like that and then I'm just going to stick a little hot glue in here And then I am going to cut my ends off so they don't stick out. Going to stick some hot glue on here and attach it right to my candy cane. All right, and then I have this flower that I got from Dollar Tree, this little clip flower. And I was gonna put this guy right in the middle of that. All right, so I'm gonna take this clip off of this flower here, cause I don't want that on there. And then I'm gonna cut a little bit of the stem off so that it'll sit flatter on my bow. Just gotta be careful, I don't want my flower to fall apart. And then I'm gonna get some hot glue on here. and stick my flower on. All right, and then I have one last minute addition that I am going to do to this, besides put a hanger on it because I want it to hang. I bought this um, LED blue light set at Dollar Tree, as you can see here. And what I'm gonna do is, I wrap these kind of tight right here, but if I would have been thinking, I probably would have wrapped one a little bit looser so I could stick my battery pack in here but I didn't know for sure if I was gonna put the lights on it or not. So I'm just gonna stick the battery pack right to the back here, and then I'm gonna start at the top with my lights, and I'm just gonna stick them inside of here, like this. I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna arrange them first, and then I'm probably gonna put a little bit of hot glue to keep them down once I have them where I want them. Okay, I have them arranged about where I want them. I want them in the middle of the candy cane. So I am going to try to glue them in between the two prongs right here. So I want them kind of like this. And I am going to have to probably stick some on the wires too. So I'm just going to pull this apart a little bit. Put a little hot glue on there. And then try to stick it so that it is right in the middle of the two wires because if you remember there was four wires on here so it's not quite in the middle 
that's pretty good. All right, I am gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get the rest of these hot glued in here where I want them. And then I'm gonna get this wire glued down too. All right, I have my glutes, my lights all glued in there. That looks so cute. I can't wait for you to see it um, when I turn the lights off. Then the next thing that I have to do is I need to get these wires all tucked in. So I'm just gonna kind of pinch the wires a little bit and then stick a little hot glue in here and then stick the wires in there and just hold it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and go around and get all these wires tucked in. And then I will let you see what it looks like when I'm done with that. All right, I have all the wires all glued in back here. I have the battery pack right here. So I can turn my lights on. This can slide out so you can change the batteries. And there we have it. There is just one more thing though. I wanna put a hanger on it. And I have this um, mop head from Dollar Tree that I use in a different project. And I am just gonna grab one of these that I have around here and I'm gonna stick the mop through it, if I can get it through. And then I'm going to tie it. I'm gonna have it hanging off a little bit. So I'm just going to tie a knot here. I don't want it the hanger too big on top, but I'm just gonna tie this in a knot like this, and then I am going to cut the ends off. All right, and then I am just gonna turn this around right here, and I'm gonna stick that end underneath here. If I can get, oh, I got that glued on that side. Let's try on the other side. I'm just gonna stick that in there. And then here I have my hanger to hang hang it up. And that is it. It is all finished. I think it turned out really good. Way better, better than I thought it was going to be. So there we go. Um, I just want to say thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell so you get notified when I upload. And take care. Thanks. Bye. Here's what it looks like with no lights on. This is what it looks like with the lights on in the daytime. And this is what it looks like with the lights almost off.